What is Audi's vision? Absolute passion. Absolute clarity. Absolute great leadership. You have to love what you do. And it goes back over a hundred years. It goes back to August Hoare. A man who was a visionary. You've got to have the four sprung in order to be in front. A total believer in advanced technology. Any car that merely takes you from A to B does not go far enough. Thanks to the wind tunnel, Audi was able to present the lowest drag coefficient in the world. When Quattro came in, we dominated the world rally. They had no chance against the new technology. Audi turned the racing world upside down. First, by introducing a race car with Quattro all-wheel drive, and second, by having a woman drive it. Michel Mouton is ahead of the field and hasn't the slightest intention of giving up her lead. The Audi TT represents the entry into a new era. You don't control it with your head, you control it with your senses. Respect tradition but break from it. 40 patents, seven new aircraft grade alloys. It took them 12 years to develop that. Aluminium is the future. Stick at it, let's go for aluminium. The buzzword here all week has been Audi. Audi, Audi. I've been coming, I've never seen a car team so well prepared to win this race. Oh, Audi R8 racing cars, the most dominant performance we probably have ever there's lots of lights flashing on the dash. The winch is going down and oh, here comes the whole back end. They can change the back end of this car in less than seven minutes. Wheels have touched ground, four minutes, no, three minutes, 47 seconds and out back in front. I race because I race to win. The absolute dedication is what drives our people. We never give up. We never rest on our laurels. Never quit. Never do the expected. Never ever think that great is good enough. Never follow. Forget all the rules. hasn't been done. Look everywhere. See what no one has seen. Don't be afraid. Clear a new path. Never do the expected. Never stop dreaming. Never follow. of art belong in a museum. The award-winning Audi TT. Hello, I'm Derek Bell, and we're here at Sears Point Raceway in Northern California. As someone who races cars for a living, I can't help but appreciate truly excellent engineering and execution in a high-performance vehicle. Quite frankly, there's nothing secret about driving my racing S4 to the limit around a racetrack. All great race cars should be able to be driven on the limit all the time. To build an automobile that is luxurious, lavishly comfortable, and is able to provide a driver with a sense of 
control, security and peace of mind in any weather condition is really worthy of praise. And as you're about to find out in the next half an hour, that's exactly what Audi have done with their sensational S8. Welcome back to the Speed Vision test drive of the Audi S8. To truly appreciate what Audi has done in the present, I think it's very important we look back at Audi's remarkable history as a manufacturer of high performance lightweight vehicles, both for the highway and for the racetrack. It's a saga that's best exemplified by the remarkable tales of those glorious silver arrows. The 1930s was a decade that ushered in a tumultuous period in world motorsports history. In the United States, the Indianapolis 500 was the crowning auto racing event in a country becoming more and more aware of the concept of performance driving. Meanwhile, on the European continent, the golden age of speed was in full song and echoing from the British Isles to the heart of the Black Forest, thanks to the incredibly powerful racing machines that bore the four rings emblem of Auto Union and wore the nickname Silver Arrows. Arguably one of the greatest head-to-head -head rivalries in racing history, the auto union Mercedes-Benz struggle for supremacy resulted in the creation of mid-engine supercharged V12 and V16 Grand Prix automobiles that produced close to 500 horsepower, unmatched in engineering sophistication and design. It was Dr. Ferdinand Porsche who fathered these fabulously successful racing marbles, wrapped in shimmering, lightweight aluminum bodywork, which led to their romantic but truly appropriate nickname. Cars which dominated the World Grand Prix circuit with legendary drivers such as Tazio Nuvolari, Hans Stuck Jr., and former motorcycle champion Bernd Rosemeyer challenging the treacherous 50-foot-high bank turns of the notorious Ava circuit in Berlin to the unforgiving, undulating mountain passes of Glasgow Mountain and the towering Alps at speeds of over 150 miles per hour. The internationally recognized Audi logo, consisting of four interlocked rings, signifies the four marks that served as the corporate foundation for what is today Audi AG. Those four nameplates, Audi, DKW, Pork, and Wanderer, were combined under the umbrella of Auto Union, which in 1969 merged with NSU. Audi's long history of engineering know-how and sound performance instincts have proudly taken shape from decades of motorsports competition to produce cars boasting world-class power and handling, with the added benefit of Audi's now legendary all-wheel drive technology. The Silver Arrows are now of legend, but the lessons learned and victories won in part by this thoroughly unique breed of racing machine have given life to the soul and spirit that drives the Audis of today. Coming up, five-time Le Mans winner Derek Bell takes to the legendary road course at Sears Point in the Audi SA. watching Speed Vision's test drive of the Audi S8. As we all know, Audi isn't strictly in the business of building racing cars. The new S8 is a luxury sedan. It just happens to perform with the poise of a racing car. And it achieves this with what Audi calls breakthrough luxury technology.
It is truly a triumph of technology. Here is an automobile that can exhibit the reflexes and agility of a race machine without sacrificing a single ounce of luxury or comfort. There's basically four brand defining elements for Audi if you will, what I'd like to call our DNA. Those are advanced technology, performance, design, and emotion. High performance cars are, by nature, light and nimble. Luxury cars, historically, have been heavy and slower to respond. Only a lightweight but immensely strong platform could allow Audi to produce a luxury sedan with both surgically precise handling and quiet, serene accommodations, worthy of a truly premium automobile. Audi's ASF, or aluminum space frame, has helped to achieve that goal. The Audi space frame for the A8 and the S8 is a perfect example of our approach to advanced technology. It's a technology that we pioneered. We've worked on it for more than 10 years. It has more than 40 patents, and it delivers to the customer a structure that's lighter, stronger, and safer. It's all aluminum alloy, not only the structure, but also all of the vehicle panels as well, the body panels. And again, not only is it lighter, stronger, and safer, but the aluminum actually has a higher dent resistance than comparable steel structures. And of course, there's Audi's legendary Quattro all-wheel drive system, unquestionably the benchmark in all-wheel drive technology. Well, again, Quattro, another example of Audi's advanced technology approach, if you will, something that we've been doing for more than 20 years. And of course, the S8 has that full-time all-wheel drive. You know, if you look at nature, the fastest and the most agile animals, they're on all fours all the time. And you'll find that here with our Quattro all-wheel drive together with our ingenious torsion center differential, which automatically and mechanically will adjust the torque split front to rear based upon tractive conditions. Remember, performance is what Audi is all about, and the S8 embodies that perfectly with 360 horsepower, agile and dynamic capabilities through the all-wheel drive and the aluminum suspension based on the very firm and rigid structure. It's the best of all worlds. The very best of concepts that automobile technology can produce are of little value if those concepts do not translate when put into practical application. Simply put, what good is technology if the car fails to perform, inspire or satisfy? Let's now take a ride in the Audi S8 and see if that can deliver on its promises. Automobiles that profess to be performance cars must be able to earn that distinction, period. Slick advertising rhetoric or overdrawn sloganeering won't get the job done, especially when you're competing in the world's most famous and grueling endurance race. At Le Mans this year, uh, we had four cars entered. We had two private teams. Uh, the private teams had a little bit of bad luck, uh, but the two factory cars finished one and two the second time, second year in a row. Uh, and what that does is Le Mans is the most prestigious, or arguably the most prestigious race in the world to win this 24-hour endurance race. So when you win that, it not only builds your brand awareness, it adds to your uh, image as far as a technology-driven company. We'll take a closer look at the critical components of the Audi S8 that endow it with the power to go, the grip to corner, and the poise to stop quickly a little late. But right now, Derek is carving around the Sears Point Road course in the S8 and will offer us some of his educated impressions, skills he has derived from years as a professional endurance racing champion. I forget when I'm driving it that in fact I'm in such a big car it completely sort of defeats me when I think I'm usually driving a small car to get the same amount of feel. With this car, it's just extremely stable. It turns into the corner very well. It holds in there exceptionally well. And in the middle of it, if I wanted to brake very hard, I could brake and the car would just stop on a penny. Such is the power of ABS and the Quattro system that we have on this car. I think we all overlook just how good the Quattro system is. Not only is it so effective in the wet, but it actually makes the car so much more stable in the dry. It makes it very, very stable indeed as I turn into this long carousel turn. It's really very, very smooth, very neutral steer as I go in. Doesn't want to hop sideways, doesn't want to move with the front. It really is exceptionally stable. I have to say that driving a Quattro, which I do a lot, gives me a tremendous sense of security and safety, which I really don't get 
with conventional two-wheel drive cars or even front-wheel drive cars. I find that I will not drive any faster than I do in a conventional car, but it gives me so much more sense of security. I feel so much more stable in the car as I'm going through a corner or driving on wet roads or driving in and out of, on busy highways where there's a lot of traffic around and I might want to make evasive action. Coming up, the Audi S8 real-world luxury capabilities. Welcome back to Speed Vision with the Audi S8 test drive. In recent years, the emphasis on vehicle safety has increased astronomically. And why not? The car continues to be our primary means of transport from our home to our job to schools and to our leisure activities. Technology has had to keep pace with the demands that we made upon the manufacturers to produce cars that would provide us with safety and security wherever we go. The Audi S8 meets those demands. In the eyes of Audi, safety and performance need not be mutually exclusive to each other. In fact, in many instances, a car's ability to avoid an accident is paramount to its ability to keep its occupants safe, should there be a collision. And it's here that the fantastic technical superstructure of the Audi S8, along with its comprehensive list of safety features, bring Audi's philosophy of elegance without arrogance into automotive synergy. The ASF, that aluminum space frame, provides the perfect foundation for a safe vehicle. It's a uh, the automotive equivalent to a 747, if you will, providing a structure akin to what you'd find in a race car's roll cage. And with that foundation, we can provide the customer a very safe vehicle. An example of that is the fact that the A8 and the S8 are the only premium cars available in the U.S. market to get the government's highest crash rating in the NCAP test, five stars for both front occupants. Adding to our space frame technology, we've got items like front and rear seat mounted side airbags, of course next generation front airbags, but also our side guard which is an inflatable curtain that comes down out of the headliner in the event of a side impact to cover the entire side of the vehicle from the inside. We've also got three point seat belts for all occupants together with seat belt pretensioners and seat belt force limiters. Performance entails more than just going fast, while safety means more than just avoiding an accident. They are both important personality traits of an automobile that help provide a driver with confidence, passengers with peace of mind, and both with a sense of enjoyment and entertainment in any driving situation. The A8 and the S8 feature what I think is one of the most advanced families of V8 engines available in the industry today. It's got lots of high technology, advanced technology if you will. First of all, they're all aluminum. It's a 90 degree architecture with five valves per cylinder double overhead cam, of course, features like cylinder selective knock regulation, sequential fuel injection, electronic throttle control, even a magnesium intake manifold with roller cam followers as well. Now in the A8, we have 310 horsepower, but for the S8, we've tuned it to a new higher level of 360 horsepower. Well, the extra 50 horsepower in the S8 come from items like new intake and exhaust valve timing strategy with higher lift for the valve, also a new intake system, and new exhaust manifolds for higher output as well, more throughput. We're basically letting the engine breathe better. It can take in more air and get more air out. Well, the S8 has our sports suspension setting. It's set about 20 millimeters lower ride height. It also has more firm shock and spring settings and thicker anti-roll bars. We also feature the larger 18-inch Abu style wheel and we also got a completely new front brake assembly, a four-piston Brembo brake caliper with a 14-inch brake rotor. Well, visually the car of course sits lower, but it also has larger wheels as we said, and some other distinguishing features such as S8 badges of course, but a new front grille assembly, the aluminum outer mirror housing, and a very substantial polished dual exhaust in the back. The S8 is there for everybody to dream about and some lucky ones to own. It's all the high performance with Quattro, all-wheel drive system on the car, a 360 horsepower 
five valve V8 engine and even things like the braking system on the car, you know, you see the Brembo calipers, which we see on the racing car. So it's the things that people dream about and give our brand stretch. So, you know, people may not be able to afford the car, but they can say, well, I can dream about cars like that. And it pulls everybody through the rain. Whenever I strap myself in my race car, my expectations of comfort and convenience are secondary to those of speed and handling. The S8 is where Audi has really blended performance and luxury into a fantastic package that reaches astonishing levels of comfort, ergonomics and real-world luxury. In its quest to produce the most capable and captivating performance luxury car in the world, Audi went to great lengths to create an automobile that constantly reminds its driver and his passengers that their comfort will not be compromised. Everything must be as close to perfect as possible to succeed within a class of formidable competitors. We noticed that section of the market with the 740 BMW, the S-Class Mercedes, all going long wheelbase, beautiful limousines, but we felt there was room in the market for a kind of short wheelbase, high performance car. Um, so it compares against the Jaguar XJR, some of the BMWs, and it fits in a little niche which is really understated, but high performance luxury sedan driving. Heated 14-way adjustable sport seats from Recaro that include adjustable thigh support, patiently covered with luxurious Falcona leather, heated rear seats, elegant gray bird's eye maple inlays along the electroluminescent instrument panel and console, Alcantara door inserts, a leather shift knob, electrically adjustable rear seat head restraints. Those are just an example of the endless melange of luxury features that the Audi S8 brings to the table. Excellence without excess is the principal language spoken here. We brought the S8 in, really it's the top of the top for us, it's the uh, top of our A8 range and it's uh, what we like to think our most aspirational car. Obviously our A8 is the top but now S8 is even on the top of that. More of the S8 test drive when we come back on Speed Vision. learned about Audi and its exceptional S8 performance sedan. First, the S8 benefits from a long and unwavering legacy of performance and technology that dates back over seven decades to the genius of Dr. Ferdinand Porsche and the unforgettable Silver Arrows. We've also shed some light on the Audi philosophy of combining heady performance with rock-solid engineering and design that bring remarkable levels of capability to a luxury automobile. And then, it's that luxury itself that pampers the driver and his passengers at every turn, while offering assurances of active and passive safety that surpass those of many other less competent automobiles. The target audience are people who are very confident in their, in their own selves. What I mean by that, they don't wish to kind of portray themselves through the car they drive, so they rather like an understated position with the car. That's why there's no big spoilers and huge wheel arch flares, very understated, and uh, has the cues that the aficionados tend to know, like the little badge, the, the twin exhaust pipes. It's a very subtle, understated form of high-performance luxury sedan. The story of the Audi S8 is one that began over 70 years ago when a car like the S8 could have been nothing more than a flickering dream in the minds of the men who helped to shape the automotive future. The brutish and powerful Silver Arrows opened the door to all-wheel drive technology, which served as the underpinnings of today's marvelously engineered Quattro all-wheel drive system. Audi's racing resume has brought worldwide acclaim and a place in motorsports history to a company that has always prized the honor that comes with excellence. 
and their impressive list of racing victories has imbued their road cars with that same emphasis on performance. There is an unbroken connection between the legendary dominance of those remarkable race machines and the international achievements that continue to bring global recognition to Audi as a leader in motorsports. But at Audi, rather than dwell on what happened yesterday, the more compelling question is, what will happen tomorrow? Or as in the words of August Hort, if it can be made by man, it can be made better by man. Audi's almost fanatical insistence on vehicle safety and the use of its performance heritage and engineering foresight to develop new ways to improve occupant protection make it unquestionably clear that the Audi S8 is not only powerful, safe, and highly advanced, it is revolutionary. The future of the luxury car has arrived. In the final analysis, it would be next to impossible to give you the true driving impressions of the Audi S8 on a television program. In the meantime, why don't you take my advice and go and get yourself a drive in an S8 as soon as possible. I'm Derek Bell and I'm going to have a drive in my S8 right now. wind howls because it can't keep up. The Audi A4 with Quattro all-wheel drive. To imagine what no one has ever imagined before takes a visionary mind. To turn these imaginings into reality, that is an even greater challenge. The new Multitronic transmission from Audi. No gears, no shifting, no equals. It will forever change driving as we know it. We've all read hundreds of road tests in car magazines, but today we're going to do something unique. We're going to show you a full road test for the new 2001 Audi All-Road Quattro. It's been touted as the ultimate hybrid vehicle, with the handling and performance of the German sports touring car, combined with the rugged off-road capabilities of a utility vehicle. Sounds too good to be true? Well, let's go and discover what the Audi All-Road Quattro is all about. Hi, I'm Derek Bell, and welcome to the Speed Vision Road Test. Today, we're here at Monterey, California, to test the new 2001 Audi All-Road Quattro. We're fortunate enough to have two other experts here, Mark Trahan, who's an Audi engineer, and Sam Mitani from Road & Track magazine. Over the years, I've driven hundreds of cars all over the world, so it seems only fitting that we should do our road test here today at one of the world's most famous and challenging tracks, Laguna Seca. A 
As we mentioned at the opening of the show, this is a hybrid. It's very specially done. It's done with two things in mind. One is to give you the ultimate on-road experience and the ultimate off-road experience. And there's no other vehicle that combines both as well as this car does. All other off-road vehicles are really quite stark in comparison. This engine is really impressive. While it develops 250 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, the true measure of its strength is in its stunning output of 258 pounds of torque. Now you just watch this, the traction of this car as it comes out of the corner. I mean, magnificent traction. No roll in the chassis at all. The car is absolutely level as it comes out. A really stable car. Goodyear and Pirelli have been working with Audi to produce a tyre that would work equally as well on-road and off-road. Now that is not easy because most of the off-road vehicles you see these days have pretty chunky tyres. They make a lot of noise when you drive them at speed. Now they produce this tyre that will work very well on the track and go around the corners, give wonderful stability, be very, very smooth, great grip. And then you can take the tyre and the car and drive off-road and get great stability and great grip there. Now let me take you on a full lap of this magnificent track. Get ready for a seven-story drop from the top of the corkscrew to the bottom of the straightaway. Hold on as we enter turn 10, take a tight line through there for hard braking into turn 11. And up the front straight away and full throttle across the start finish line. The electronic stabilization program or ESP is an added safety feature which you can manually switch off. What ESP means for the driver is that if the wheels ever start to slide, the car will automatically compensate. But ESP was one of the traction control units the Formula One teams did develop. And this enabled the car, if it was pushing around the corners, as it pushed and started to slide off the road at the front, the inside rear wheel would lightly grab, therefore pulling the front of the car around. And it's astonishing how it works but naturally it was banned because it was talked to be uh, not in the interest of motorsport. On a road car, however, it does work exceptionally well. The car is so smooth, it's so drivable, and you forget that you're in a vehicle that will drive off-road all the time. Keep your engine running. We'll be right back with some incredible off-road driving. I've done several laps in the car on the track to see just how it goes, put it through its paces, and now we're going to see the other half of the equation, and that is just how well this car goes off-road. We're going to drive down here and go off just below the corkscrew, and we're going to go up the hill, off-road, to the top of the corkscrew, and come back down again. If you're a spectator, this is the fastest way up to the top of the corkscrew. So different coming up here on off-road than it is when you're coming up on the racetrack itself. The racetrack is so smooth, beautiful, and high-speed precision. This is really rough and ready, and but the car just bites and goes. It's quite astonishing how they've got these things to work. You feel like you're on the roof of the world up here, don't you? We're going down the hill somewhat slower because momentum will take you down over the bumps. 
so therefore you want to be a little bit more gentle with yourself. I just can't believe that we're in the same car that we were driving on the road earlier at 130 miles an hour. Now we're going 15 miles an hour over some of the roughest terrain you'll ever find. The all-road Quattro was developed in Germany and the engineers at Audi put it through a variety of tests. Let's see how it performs. People living in snow country have always loved the Quattro. For me, this is an incredibly versatile vehicle. Don't go away, the Speed Vision Road Test will be right back. Road and Track magazine have tested literally thousands of cars over the years, and their international editor, Sam Matani, has the plum job of testing his Audi all-road Quattro off-road at the Tejon Ranch in California. If safety is uh, the, one of the main things you're uh, concerned about, there really is no substitute for having all-wheel drive. And the Quattro system is one of the best out there. They've been doing it since 1980. It's been an Audi trademark, and it's really a good piece of technology, and it makes driving safe. And on some of these corners, you could really feel Audi's Quattro system kick in, just because on slippery surfaces like this, a lot of rear-wheel drive cars, just front-wheel drive cars, you, lose, you get a lot of slippage. And with this Quattro system, you can really feel the four tires grabbing a hold of the driving surface. And it makes it much easier to control, and it almost drives itself. see a little stretch of pavement here so we're going straight from dirt to pavement just like that and it's smooth as silk it's just as comfortable out here as it is on the dirt road this Audi is a comfortable very tight feeling car the seats are very comfortable and they're supportive because they so they hold you in place while you're cornering and you know the interior is elegant it's got nice wood trim it looks no different than say an a6 sedan if I were to drive this across the country, it'd be really no problem. I could spend, you know, 10, 12 hours in this car easy and be comfortable. right back on dirt from the pavement and it turns again from German touring car sedan to kind of a little racy off-roader. And these roads, it's really fun to drive this car, boy. I mean, I would rather probably drive this car on fast dirt roads like this rather than the pavement. In reality, most off-road driver SUV owners 
probably 95% of them never take their cars off road. And you know, I think it's kind of a pity, but they don't know what they're missing. To a lot of people, image is everything. And uh, for those image hungry people, I think this car is ideal. And you know, being an Audi, you know, it's a very prestigious brand. And for $41,000, you know, it's pretty hard to beat. I mean, you're not gonna find too many uh, European or even German sports cars for $41,000, much less one that can go off road. engine pulls very nicely here uh, despite being turbocharged where you usually have lag in turbocharged engines this thing the response is very very immediate the uh, torque is really nice and fat so you don't have to wait for the engine to rev up to about six seven thousand before you know you get a nice forward surge and on straight shots like these you, the suspension is doing a nice job of soaking up the bumps and it provides really good stability on this lowest setting Well, I've been driving, I'm driving these roads at about 40 to 60 miles an hour, which I wouldn't dream of doing in a regular SUV, just because of the top end will get so tippy that you feel like you'll be tipping over and rolling over. The low center of gravity really makes handling a lot better, and it keeps the car from tipping too much on top. That's the problem with a lot of SUVs, is they ride too high for any kind of spirited driving to be performed. But with this all road, actually it almost doubles almost like a WRC rally car. Suspension so nice that you you get a little sideways like that, just one little quick flick of the arms and you're right back on your line. It's gonna be a very strong car in its segment in its market. I think Audi has done a good job in focusing in on what they want to be. It's a nice balance between real world, everyday drivability, and uh, fun off-road stuff. The Speed Vision Road Test will be right back with Audi engineer Mark Trahan. Now to explain some of the unique technological advancements that have been made in this Audi Quattro, let's join Audi engineer, Mark Trahan. Having been with Audi for more than 20 years, I've witnessed a lot of our technological achievements. But I think one of the more significant is the engine that's under the hood in this car. It's a 2.7 liter, twin turbo, double overhead cam V6. And it's designed to give you, the customer, the best of both worlds. The torque and power output of a large displacement V8, but with the fuel economy and efficiency, of a V6 engine. One of the hallmarks of it is we utilize our five valve technology combined with a narrow bore and a relatively long stroke. What this gives us is a very efficient package in many ways. In terms of the space utilization, it's probably the shortest V6 in its displacement class, which gives more space to utilize for the interior and the passenger compartment. All of these things work together to again, give us a very small and efficient engine package but when we combine that with twin turbochargers, a small turbocharger for each engine bank, we get, as I said, the power output and the torque, very important for this market, that equates to that of a large displacement V8. Audi has a long history of developing turbocharging technology. Maybe you've been watching this year our tremendous success in the American Le Mans series. Not only first, second, and third at Le Mans, but we won most of the races here in North America. Well, in fact, a lot of the technology that we utilize in that very successful R8 racing car, you'll find in this engine as well. The same basic engine architecture, a 90 degree V construction with electronically controlled, water-cooled twin turbochargers. In fact, one could say this engine is just a six-cylinder version of that eight-cylinder all-aluminum racing engine. 
The basic idea behind the all-road was to give the driver the best of both worlds. And you'll find an example of that here in the tire construction. What we wanted was a tire that would give sporty handling characteristics like you find in a German high-performance touring sedan. But we also needed a tire that would give good traction and rough and off-road capabilities. Essentially, no tire like that existed. So we commissioned both Goodyear and Pirelli to develop a unique tire construction specific for the all-road. As a matter of fact, you'll even find the all-road script written here on the tire sidewall. But enough information. Let's have some fun and give this a test here at the California Motor Speedway. Again, performance is what the all-road quattro is all about. And you see it here in the 0 to 60 acceleration time. 7.3 seconds, 0 to 60, for the automatic Tiptronic version, the fastest of any SUV hybrid. And the manual transmission is even quicker at 6.8 seconds, 0 to 60. Performance is what the all-road quattro is all about. Not only does it have the bi-turbo V6, but it also has essentially the same brakes as our rocket ship S4 sedan. Let's see how they work. One of the basic advantages of our four-level suspension is that when the car is parked, it'll automatically position itself at the lower level so that if you're like me, with short legs, it makes it pretty easy to get in and out of the car. That's a feature that you won't find on other SUV-type vehicles. Now, the car has four height levels, and it can adjust itself either automatically or manually. An example is that when the car is driven at highway speed, it'll lower itself to the lowest position based on how fast the car is going. But you can also adjust it manually if you want to higher positions to afford more road clearance when driving on rough and off-road conditions. In addition to comfort and convenience, safety is also a very important aspect of the all-road quattro. You'll find items such as next-generation front airbags, standard equipment front side airbags mounted in the seat, seatbelt pretensioners for all five occupant locations, and also, as standard equipment, our Audi side guard inflatable curtain. Now this is technology that only a few other manufacturers offer. Essentially, it's an inflatable curtain that deploys down out of the headliner in the event of a side impact and covers the entire inside of the vehicle on the side here, affording you the ultimate in passive safety protection. What we set out to do when we began to develop the all-road is to have a car that would give the driver the best of both worlds. A car with the capabilities of a German high-performance touring sedan, but also with capabilities akin to that of an SUV. A car that doesn't limit your possibilities. You can drive it like an A6 4.2 with sports suspension, but you can also take it off-road in very difficult conditions. The all-road Quattro incorporates everything that we've learned in over 20 years of developing Quattro. Full-time, all-wheel drive. A development that's so well perfected, it's banned in most racing series. An unfair advantage that the all-road quattro driver can have for themselves. Do you remember the old Woody used by the Beach Boys? Well, this is the 2001 version of that vehicle from Audi. but I doubt the Beach Boys ever took their Woody on the racetrack. The Quattro is a great asset in rain, snow, or sand under your feet. Nothing like a little cruise down to the ocean for a little kayaking or surfing.
From asphalt to sand, it's no problem for the Quattro. As a true crossover vehicle, it delivers the best of both worlds without ever compromising its luxury status. Whether you want performance driving or off-road adventure, this car is tough to beat. The Audi all-road Quattro is an exceptional car and its time has definitely come. See you out there. Forget all the rules. See what no one has seen. Do what hasn't been done. Look everywhere. Never do the expected. Never follow. 